Now, many of the fire departments battling those grass fires are running low on food and water, but residents are stepping in to help. Tennis reporter Brennan Richard continues our team coverage tonight from Creek County. For the past two days, fire crews in Creek County have been going toe to toe with a raging enemy that seems to only grow and grow. The grass fires have not only taken a toll on firefighters, but also the supplies they need to keep going. We've been out fighting this fire since yesterday, and we had been just handing out sandwiches and cereal bars, you know, non-perishable things that the firefighters could stick in their pockets, and we were running out of things to give them. In fact, the Freedom Hill Fire Department started running so low on food and water, they took to Facebook to ask the public for help. And then the donations started pouring in, and in just a few short hours, they had all of this and more. Lori Roach lives about a mile from where the fire's been burning. When she heard firefighters were in need, she took action. I donated oranges, bananas, water, Gatorade, um, crackers. And Lori says if she could, she'd donate more. I think we all grew up here, and we pretty much know that when someone needs us, we help. They do a great job, and it's without fail. They're there all night long. Good guys and good girls. We were surprised by the large number of donations that we've had from private individuals, um, area businesses, local groups. I mean, it's just been amazing. Being a volunteer department, we really rely on our people in our community. And the community knows it could make it without each of them especially in times like these. Reporting in Creek County, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you. Now you can drop off supplies at the Freedom Hill Fire Department. If they end up with a huge surplus, they do plan to share it with neighboring fire departments. Well,